The operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says it will revise operation manuals for the newly installed cooling system. The operation has been repeatedly suspended due to a number of human errors. On Monday, Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, started the equipment which decontaminates radioactive water and then circulates it to cool the reactors. But it was shut down several times because of water leaks and other reasons. In the latest case, a French-made decontamination equipment in the unit stopped automatically on Thursday. Operations resumed five hours later. TEPCO said on Friday that the stoppage may have been caused by flawed programming of water levels for a tank attached to the equipment. As a result of several snags, the water recycling system was operating at 55% capacity as of Tuesday. We're using newly made and newly installed devices. It's understandable that there are problems. The operation is considered vital to reducing the amount of highly radioactive water building up in the plant's compound. The water recycling apparatus has been installed by combining several technologies from domestic and foreign firms. Government panel is considering whether TEPCO should compensate people for emotional distress if they suffer internal exposure to radiation from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The head of the panel says he wants to consider making TEPCO compensate people, regardless of whether they've started having health problems. Some panel members said anyone exposed to radiation should be recognized as suffering emotional distress and given compensation. Others said compensation should be limited to people who've started having health problems. The panel also discussed whether TEPCO should compensate Japanese businesses hit by overseas import bans on Japanese products and by the drop in the number of tourists coming to Japan. It's already decided that TEPCO should pay compensation for emotional distress to people forced to evacuate homes near the nuclear plant. It's due to come up with its full interim guidelines by the end of July. A research ship has left Tokyo to survey the spread of radioactive substances into the ocean from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. About 30 specialists in ocean observation and marine biology are on board the ship belonging to Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology. The ship will collect seafloor samples off Fukushima to study the impact of radioactive substances on marine life. The research will focus on shellfish and sandworms on the seabed that are believed to be susceptible to radiation. It is important to provide accurate information because without that data, people would become suspicious and might create rumors. The ship is to arrive off Fukushima on Saturday and will continue its activities until July 8th. Millions are going to die from this around the world. No matter what you hear, at least a million people died from Chernobyl. Many more are going to die before Fukushima eventually is brought under control. That could be 50 to 100 years. We just don't know. People are being basically sacrificed. Four-year-olds are being given dosimeters or radioactive uh, detection badges and sent off to uh, kindergarten. This is criminal. It should not be allowed to happen. But it is, and we'll see what the Japanese people are made of in terms of how they stand up to this and demand and force their government to stop the crap. These plants, all 55 of them, have to be shut down. Tim, go ahead. Um, well, we had an earthquake uh, today in that region. 6.7. Um, yeah, which um, probably caused damage to reactors, which we're not being told about, because we know now that the Japanese government are um, obfuscating, mendacious, um, and uh, disinformative. Um, in the plain American, it means they're uh, lying bastards. I think we'll find that uh, Tim Reefat's analysis that it's equal uh, in the amount of um, fallout to a nuclear war, World War Three, will prove correct because there was so much um, uh, material at the site and it was so old, and uh, which. The older the material, uh, the, um, the older the fuel rods, the more plutonium they've got, and it's the plutonium that's the really uh, nasty stuff. Now, looking at the unintended consequences, um, the most dangerous aspect of a World War III version of fallout, that's um, uh, 20 to 100,000 nuclear weapons worth of fallout, which um, 
I think will be released by uh, the Japanese reactors, not just the Fukushima one, but some of the others which they're not even talking about, and other aftershocks which will damage other reactors. This will be more than enough to um, poison the um, most um, vulnerable members of the human species, which are the developing um, uh, embryos in uh, all future generations. And the good thing about radioactivity is that it's cumulative. So the mutation uh, and damage to offspring which will occur in women who are having uh, breeding children at the moment will be far worse in the children that these uh, mutants breed and then their, their offspring will be even more damaged because radiation, according to research, seems to uh, uh, cause more and more damage uh, in future generations. Um, uh, there was an article in New Scientist all about it. So this will mean that these, um, the mono breeders, for example, the, uh, the Chinese, um, will um, uh, have problems, um, but they've got such a huge population that uh, an increase in uh, genetic damage mutation uh, of the children, for example, after Chernobyl, um, the hot spot uh, where um, Chernobyl uh, left the uh, largest amount of radiation was uh, southern Belarus, which is to the north of uh, the Ukraine where the Chernobyl reactor was. And there we had several thousand uh, badly damaged um, children born, uh, most of them getting cancer uh, in their teens. And what we'll see uh, from this massive amount of fallout is an increase in um, childhood cancers and an increase in deformed babies. And um, luckily, Westerners only have one or two children, so the damage will be magnified by the small number of offspring Westerners have. Um, but luckily, the, uh, the Africans uh, and the uh, Hispanics have huge families in the West, they um, put them into special hospitals and look after them, which is a, a great drain on the West and will exacerbate the uh, economic uh, downfall of um, the West, having uh, millions, if not uh, tens of millions, if not um, a significant maybe 30, 40 percent of um, uh, babies all deformed in one way or another. This will have a massive knock-on effect on the West where they look after these degenerates um, in the West. Um, they're looked after, closeted, and uh, are even allowed to breed. So it, it's a wonderful um, route to destroy the West via um, uh, genetic damage to their offspring. And the end result of this will be, of course, that the, um, only, that the majority of um, uh, healthy people are born to um, Africans and uh, Hispanics who have huge families, so inevitably what you're going to do is uh, have a change of demographics. The West will, their children will be poisoned and deformed, and the Africans and Hispanics will have healthy children simply because they breed so many, and the healthy ones, of course, will, can then migrate to the West and start to occupy uh, the West in large, large numbers, much larger numbers than we have now, thanks to the massive fallout of um, uh, Chernobyl. Already we've got a massive migration of sub-Saharan blacks moving into um, Europe. Uh, 50 million are coming in, in with uh, the EU, are actively moving them in. Uh, that's a, an in incredible number, 50 million. The hard science of radiation and radioactivity is simply indisputable. You cannot discount it if you know about it. Of course, unfortunately, most of the people don't know about it. March 15th, 16th, 17th, therein, the jet stream, absolutely, irrevocably proven now, carried radioactivity to the United States and to Europe in the three, four, five days after the earthquake and tsunami. Go ahead, Tim. Well, uh, the main problem are the fuel fleas, which, of course, uh, embed in the lungs and in the um, gastrointestinal system. Now, um, they're releasing radiation to give you lung cancer and um, uh, stomach and colon cancer, and then they migrate, um, uh, can migrate into uh, the bones to give you bone cancer. Uh, but that, of course, is a pretty long-term thing. 
you're not going to die of cancer instantly from the massive release and continual release, the continual release of um, uh, radioactivity it hasn't stopped. It's con these uh, reactors are continually re releasing it, and uh, the problem was there was so much, um, so many fuel rods, spent fuel rods on the site as well. A lot of these are burning uh, and have been nanoparticleized. Um, and the um, water, which they're trying to cool the uh, China syndrome um, uh, reactor cores, which are burning through the bottom of the buildings into the um, groundwater, uh, and then uh, they'll um, start to uh, burn because um, the, uh, the plutonium uh, reacts explosively with um, uh, um, air and water, and uh, you'll get uh, a giant explosion, or you can do. Uh, what I'm talking about tonight is that uh, a lot of people in the West are going to get uh, cancer. It's going to uh, severely damage the long-term um, uh, health of uh, Westerners, uh, especially Americans who breathe in a lot of fuel fleas. As for the Japanese, they are a well and truly foobard, um, but the radiation has the most dramatic effect on the embryo, which is a tiny clump of cells. And as you can imagine, uh, you don't need much radiation zapping through that embryo uh, um, and the blastocyst, um, which is the clump of cells uh, before the embryo, in order to cause irrevocable damage in the blastocyst, which then turns into a damaged embryo, and the damaged embryo then grows into one of these mutants. Um, so, of course, the, the main, uh, the main um, uh, effect of the fuel fleas, which are, which are now covering the Northern Hemisphere, is not on the health of old fogies like myself, who, of course, um, probably um, uh, will um, outlive the radiation um, in terms that we haven't got a long lifespan, and uh, uh, by the time we get massive lung cancers or colon cancers, etc., um, we'll have you know, will will be in our dotage. It's the damage it causes to this these tiny clump of cells, which is when the sperm and the egg come together to form. They fertilize egg, and the egg starts dividing, and it's turned into something called a blastocyst. This is only a tiny clump of uh, cells. These things are going zapping through the embryo, going bing, 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 damaging the DNA in the um, blastocyst, which then causes these deformed embryos. So if you only have one or two children like the Westerners and you look after these damaged children, for example, all the damaged tr children of the West are sacrosanct. You can't touch them. They've got, to, they've got to be allowed to grow and have children and do whatever they like, and the state has to look after them. You can see the massive, uh, the massive damage to the West caused not by um, the cancers and deaths in uh, the adults, but that all future generations are going to get more and more damaged. And the West system of um, nanny state, where they look after the uh, genetically damaged, is, is such that it is a force multiplier in that if, for example, you have 10% of the po population as these Fukushima mutants, then, of course, that will collapse the uh, health system of America and Britain because you simply can't uh, afford it. Um, and this, this is the elephant in the middle of the room. If, if enough radiation is released from Fukushima, then that's the end of the West as we know it, simply because these mutant babies will collapse the health system. The Fukushima event hasn't happened. It is happening. There is a constant. It's like a, a candle, which is, and you can think of the smoke as the, as the um, radioactive fallout. The candle is a big, long one. It's just start. We've just lit it. And the, the candle will continue to burn down uh, for a long, long time. As long as those fuel rods are exposed, you're going to get releases of radiation. As long as the cores are melting to putting water on them, they're releasing massive amounts of radiation nonstop. And today I was going to talk about the unintended consequences, which is that your babies, if you're a woman, are going to be affected to, to some de degree or, or other. Uh, if, if, as I believe, the... Uh, um, the accident has released uh, World War Three versions of uh, fallout, and it won't it, it won't be just an event, but will continue for at least um, uh, 50 to 100 years. Uh, um, 
by which time you'll have so many deformed babies in the West that the West will collapse. 